And now, in a bid to strengthen the peaceful coexistence and conflict resolution among citizens of Kaduna State, the synergy between religious leaders and security agencies must be strengthened. This was a key focus at a one-day roundtable meeting organized by the peace-promoting body Kuka Center in Kaduna. According to stakeholders who were present at the roundtable meeting, the belief is that justice and fairness remain a key factor for the actualization of such feat. When you talk about justice in the society today, you talk about fairness. Fairness in all ramifications. Is it fairness in education? Is it fairness in the health sector? Is it fairness in housing? Is it fairness in your relationship? Even within your family cocoon? This is the bedrock of peace. Where there is no fairness, take fairness away, away. Sorry, you can best imagine what happens. And that is why we have this conflict in the society today, where you see individuals doing certain things that ordinarily they shouldn't do. When you investigate, you get to discover that there is non-existence. Religious leaders also opine that the government and security agencies must build confidence on the people in order to achieve intelligence gathering. The bigotry we've had in the past in Kaduna State, we want to plead with this government to do everything within their reach and not to allow that to happen. When governments speak friendly, when governments speak lovingly, when governments speak with care, when governments speak with understanding, then people can openly share their thinking with government. But if people already have seen government showing prejudice, the chances is that they won't want to talk. So uh, we want people here to be open. We want people here to be together. And government must play a role in helping that openness, in helping them to trust that togetherness. And it has to do with the way and manner government speaks to the people. The people are more closer to their religious leaders. And then the people listen more. Like scholars would say that the, the religion is the opium, opium of the people. So definitely, if the religious leaders are able to tell each other the truth, we are able to tell people the truth, definitely we will have this peace that we are, being, we are always craving for within our society. Security agencies are linking insecurity to lack of employment and idleness. Their responsibility remains paramount. Security personnel or the security agencies are ever ready to make sure that peace reigns. Their primary assignment is to enforce law and order within the community, within the society. So whatever and whenever the demand comes and they are called for, they will ever be ready to partake. So remaining in peace means a lot. If there is no peace, there will be no progress. And uh, the security agencies are already are always ready to be with them, to give them backup so that they remain in peace. As part of its agenda, the current administration led by Governor Obasani has promised to prioritize the fight against insecurity in the state. 